Greetings, Michael here, uh, Gilbert, Arizona. I just, the blessing come upon me to help people understand that we live in a Roman Greek mindset. And within all this, there's uh, probably issues to be paid. My meaning is, is that it seems like most people of the world today are kind of in, in many ways, most of them are spiritually uh, bankrupt, as I said, or, you know, lacking in spiritual knowledge and what is life all about and uh, what is the spiritual connection between heaven and earth. And so within all that, I, you know, he puts his, Yurevave puts his word above his name. And, uh, you need to do the research. Just click, get a download the strong some coordinates, uh, you know, and, and start uh, on your computer, your iPhones, and start searching the Hebrew and and uh, the Greek New Brit Hadashah, the New Testament, as you call it, uh, and you'll understand that there we live in a time that truth is being revealed, and we've lived in a transliterated world. So, blessings with all that. I'm here to say, you know, most people think Jesus is the way, the truth, and life. And, you know, according to Mark 7, uh, verse 26, uh, says that uh, the woman, this woman was a Greek. And then it's a comma, and it was from the Syrophoenician uh, nation. And so, if you click on the word Greek, it's Hellenized, or basically a lot of the sages say Hellenistic or whatever, but uh, that's the key is the Greek, which is the New Testament uh, manuscripts that transliteration comes from, because I believe the Catholics have the Hebrew. Uh, so within that, we basically are under a Greek Roman transliterate not only that curse uh, but also uh, a false presence of so Yeshua said you know if he didn't go to the Father the Comforter wouldn't come and when the Comforter comes then the Spirit of Truth will you know all things so truth is only truth it's Kadosh Hashon it's the Holy Tongue it's Genesis to Revelation in the Hebrew language and so Adam knew Noah Noah knew Abraham Abraham knew King David King David knew Messiah Yeshua Everybody touch base. So it's no big coincidence if you're a Bible believing person or a Bible scholar or if you live in the United States of America where our uh, Constitution basically is presented with the biblical text uh, in the image of the Creator man is made in the image of Yudavav Elohim really uh, But they of course they use the word God and so that's the seed that I'm going to plant in front of you right now that God, if you spell that backwards, is dog. And if you use Mark 7, starting with verse 26, the woman is asking for the, uh, the unclean spirit or her, her daughter to be healed. And in Mark, he said, it's, it's, I don't, I'm going to do the best I can. I don't have nothing in front of me. But in Mark uh, 7, 27, he says it's not right to, to give the children's bread uh, uh, now I, I forgot the verse already but <laughs> basically it's not right to give the children's bread to the dogs and, and then she quotes back that even the dogs eat from the master's table so he's a clear uh, this is a clear document King James Plus version uh, that the Greeks or the dogs. Uh, he tells a woman she is a Greek in seven Mark seven twenty six, uh, and he tells her it's not right to give the children's bread to the dogs. So, uh, and she says even the dogs eat from the master table. So you know what I'm saying is it's time to change our tongue here if you want my opinion. And especially, you know, this is around, well, it's almost Christmas, Christmas Eve. Uh, everybody's doing a man-made calendar and a man-made so-called 
uh, pagan secular celebration, the mighty ones up there looking, Yudhavav Elohim, uh, Zazvaot and the heavenly host, were up there looking and say, you know what, I, I gave them, I, I, I created them, I walked with them all along, uh, then I, I brought them out of Egypt, and uh, you know, then I gave them my son, you know, Yeshua, crucified for the sin of the world, and uh, the sins of the world, and so, and we still don't get it. We're still in a like, la la la, you know, trying to figure out what we're gonna do here instead of getting back home to the Garden of Eden, which I believe that's where we're going if our treasure it, cup is measured, pressed, uh, shaken and running over, oh, in good works, we have treasure and we clean our temple. We are the temple of the living Elohim, it's clear. It's not in a building, he wants in us. And so within that, remember, I think it's time to start teaching Yeshua, his Hebrew name. I think it's time to start teaching Yudhe Bav He or Yehovah, as Nehemia Gordon pronounces Yudhe Bav He, who's the pre-incarnated Yeshua. And I think it's time to everybody to start reading the biblical text that so-called themselves are Christmas, Christians, uh, which, you know, I find it only twice in the New Testament. So it's like, whatever, you know what I mean? We're, we're daughters, we're sons and daughters of the Most High, all of us, and we're judges and saints. We're supposed to use his word to look at, the, you know, judge situations. And, you know, a lot of people judge by looks and, and that's what it is. You know, look at me, I got the fancy car, the big house. I'm, I'm, God must be with me, and Yeshua, it's in Isaiah too, I think, don't quote me on that, but I got the verse. Uh, what judgment is, is judging by looks, the lust of the eye, that you, you, when you see these nice things, you automatically think God's with them. And, and uh, so Yeshua, he come humbly. And so, by the way, Judas Iscariot, if you click on the word bag, and the strong concordance, it's like a music bag. So it was a big old bag of money Judas had. Uh, I think that's wonderful to understand. But anyway, uh, again, uh, the Greeks uh, told the Romans and with them, Esau's, uh, they're the dogs. And uh, they're, they're, they're works of evil. And uh, they're, they're trying to tell you, oh, you're not under the law, you know, you just need to be saved. And, you know, build your treasure on earth or whatever. And, Nobody's reading the text and not letting us, providing for us to get the text in us. They're just letting us build bricks and they got all the money. It's, by the way, if they're doing good work, why do they need such a large bank account, you know? Uh, you're supposed to work the money and, and create wealth within your body of believers in your nation. Uh, you're not supposed to just hoard it off and, you know, uh, guys ringing bells, money, people putting money in a basket and you go look at their bank account, it's huge. And why do they need this big amount of money if they're doing good works with it? Why is there people starving? Why is there people homeless? Why is there people, you know, uh, it's, it's just, it needs a lot of work, you know? So let's get back to Yeshua and his way of life. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? I think, I don't know how much more you could do to get back to what he told us to do. And, and receive your heavenly gift. Your inheritance has been found to you for the gift foundations of the earth and return to home. So within all that, remember, I believe the Greeks are the dogs, uh, at least in the King James Version, uh, 1881 on up, 2000, 2018. So within all that, may Yehovah, Yudhe bless you and may Yeshua, his salvation, Yeshua, the Greek name Jesus as you know it, but Yeshua, the Hebrew, he's Hebrew. Come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Anyway, may Yeshua bless. Within all that, shalom, shalom, amen, amen.